Hi everyone, my name is King IV, and this is an introduction to Python web scraping. If you haven't seen our previous play playlist where we go over the basics of Python, which really allow you to learn all the techniques in basic Python that will allow you to actually be able to do uh, web scraping. Obviously, if you already know Python, then welcome and let's go ahead and get started. So here, I'm on the Twitter timeline of real Donald Trump, as opposed to fake Donald Trump. And Donald Trump is a hot topic in early 2016 um, for maybe unfortunate reasons, sometimes fortunate reasons, depending on what your political perspective is. But uh, we're here to web scrape, not talk about politics. And uh, what I want to do here is be able to, since he's such a popular figure, maybe I want to be able to pull some information from his Twitter timeline uh, and really understand the guy a little bit more around what his tweets are, what's popular, what's not popular. Are there trends and patterns in his tweets uh, on a daily basis? But I don't want to go, you know, every day and copy information down or I want to be able to write a program that get all this information and I can expand upon it. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So here, there's two ways to approach looking at this Twitter page from a, from a Python web scraping point of view is one, we can look at the page source and the page source is essentially the HTML information uh, that will allow you to, to look through the information and you'll see some stuff like, for example, I will be interviewing, be interviewed by, you can say, I will, I will be interviewed by, uh, and that's not the first instance. Here you go. Here's instance by, and then you'll see Chuck Todd, which is exactly the same as, as this. And you can see uh, some some good information being held in the HTML code already. And that's not always going to be the case, but I would say that's the case for a lot of, uh, of websites that you're interested in web scraping. So, okay, that's good. So I'm just going to copy this URL here. And then what we're going to do here is I've already created a, a project in, in PyCharm, which is the IDE I'm, I'm using. Uh, and I've created a Python script here already uh, called tutorial.py. And here I have three libraries I'll be using, urllib, urllib.request, uh, and beautiful soup. So I am using Python 3.5, so do take that into consideration, especially if you're, I know a lot of people still use 2.7. Uh, so take that into consideration. Hopefully you'll be able to adjust and adapt it, or you can always download uh, 3.5 and, and follow along with me. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to call this the URL, which is basically just going to store the URL information. You don't need to put a space at the beginning. And then here we're going to go, we're going to find another variable called the space, and we're going to be using URL lib dot request dot URL open, I believe, uh, the URL. To be honest, most of the time I just copy and paste from, from previous scripts and build upon it. Uh, it's pretty rare that you would start from scratch, but in this case we are just for the sake of this video. And then we're going to be using beautiful soup and we're going to be taking the page and then we're going to just type in this code it's called html.parser just so it allow the beautiful soup to actually work. So again, the URL just holds the URL that you're interested in. Uh, the page will hold We'll basically encode this h uh, this take this URL and encode it into h or well, basically open it and uh, allow us to take view the HTML information and then what this this uh, beautiful soup will do is it'll parse it out to be, be make it more searchable uh, for for your for lack of uh, of better wording or simplification so that's good so if we run this nothing's gonna happen because we didn't. All right, well, the code will run and there'll be no errors. So that's that's always good. That's handy. Uh, but what, what, what we might be looking interested in is we want to may want to print some information. So here we might want to print soup.title, which will be just the title of this particular URL, which is again just Donald J. Trump and uh, his Twitter handle and Twitter here. So if we were to look at this the page source information. All I have to do is look for the tag title and you'll see the exact same information here that was held here uh, that we're pulling out. So 
pretty basic, but still useful. Good start. Uh, if I, for example, didn't want to have these title handles or title tags, what I could do here is go dot text. And it should just show me Donald Day J dot Trump and then to his Twitter handle. It's taking a little bit of time. There you go. So there, okay, that's useful. You can also go dot string dot get underscore text, uh, open bracket, close bracket, but for the sake of, for, and there's probably minor differences between the three, but for our sake, uh, I prefer using uh, dot text, but feel free to use any of the other two as well. Okay, so that's, that's useful. So we can get uh, the title tag information. That's just one piece of information. Like, why do we care? Okay, so let's go ahead and try some other information. Let's use this function called uh, dot find all. And basically that's gonna find all the instances of whatever we're searching for. So in this case, we're searching for the, the tag A. And usually the tag A will show us all the, you, all the, the links in this. So it's really useful for finding all the various links. So if we go to the very top of here, you'll see here, here's the first A tag. And then you'll see, okay, there's some relative hyperlinks, which is in this case, just a slash. So if I were to go www.com slash and add the hyperlink or the href, and that'd be the slash or home, for example, if I could find uh, their href for this or oh, oh, sorry that brings us to the home page and then here brings us to the about page so if i go slash about it'll bring us to the about page uh etc etc you'll see a few other ones that are interesting but how, what happens if i just want that href information i don't want all all this other information that describes the the a tag so what i could do here is do a for loop similar to how you did for loops previously so here i'm gonna go for link and obviously you can do anything you want you can call it for elephant for example but obviously just make it something that makes sense and then we're gonna do a for loop and we're gonna go link dot get dot href and then what i'll do is a uh, instead of oh, okay i gotta print it what that will do instead of pasting all the the a tag information will only paste the hrefs so which is which is pretty useful you can also turn this into a get just give me the text relate to it which might be useful as well so you can see here the short and long codes see the smm short codes for other countries so some pretty pretty useful information here so what happens if i want to look at other ways of, of approaching this or to get some very specific information. So let's go back to Donald J. Trump's Twitter page. And what happens if, for example, I want to get his Twitter profile wording here, right? So that's interesting. So if I want to just get this particular information, so there's a couple ways you can approach it. One, it, the approach I like to do is I like to like narrow down the HTML information to to sections that I'm looking for. Then I can apply some logic here. Obviously, there's a number of uh, ways and techniques to, to get this. There's uh, many right answers to it. But the way I'm going to do it here is I right-click to inspect, and it basically shows me the part of the HTML that relates to this particular information that I'm interested in. So in this case, it's this P tag, this paragraph tag. Uh, that has all the information here. You can see here the official Twitter profile for Donald J. Trump, and then it has some hyperlinks here. He has some hashtags, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But what you'll what I notice here is it's really encompassed in this profile header card information. So I'm gonna go from I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to limit Beautiful Soup just to this part of the of uh, of the code, and then from there I'm gonna apply some further logic. So how do we do that? So here I'm just going to comment the previous information that I had. So I'm going to go print soup uh, dot find. So what find and find all the differences is that find all will find all the instances and print them all or go through them all if you're using a for loop. What 
find will do find is will just is just looking for the first index so index zero of of find all so I'll actually make before we go to this I'll do a quick example so here if I were to print this information and I were to go to the first index which is zero that would present me some information here which should just be the the about information or the home tag information so you can see here so nothing complicated here uh, if I were to do dot find instead of find all index zero that just be like finding it should be the exact same as this which you will be able to see in a moment so you can see here how this information is repeated so find is basically just the index zero of find all so just so you know so here I'm gonna be doing soup dot find in this case what I want to do is I'm gonna find this the certain div class you can also look for div IDs uh, especially if you're trying to scrape through certain tables uh, that's a uh, useful way so here I'm gonna go what am I looking for I'm looking for a div tag and within this div tag I'm looking for or the certain type of div tag that I'm looking for is uh, as a class and the class is called let's go back to the web page it's called profile header card so I'm gonna right click here grab that information let's see what it looks like okay so this is useful so you can see how it's really gone down to the particular part of the information they want you can see here some h1 classes h2 classes but what we're really interested is this information right here so can we further isolate this this code just to get to 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 uh, this information and the answer is yes so the way we're going to do that is again we're going to do a dot find in this case where we want to find the p class obviously this is a pretty simplified example where we are using some real life information but it's still pretty simplified um, usually most codes not uh, this simple but it could be so you can see here here's the the p tag within this broader uh, div class okay so that's that's interesting so you can see some useful information here and we're just gonna do something pretty simple and we're just gonna get the the Twitter profile information here so you can see here now we have the Twitter profile information for Donald J Trump let's see uh let's take a look at here okay so that, that's useful uh perhaps we want to be able to get all the text related to each of his tweets is there a way for us to do this so some promising candidates would be like for example the content class and then within here is the the p tag and then we can get the text here which just looks promising if i were to go to another one Okay, so it looks like content. Let's see what that looks like. So let's do a quick for loop. So here we're going to go for, uh, let's call it tweets in soup dot find all. In this case, we're using dot find all. In this case, the Twitter class is content. Put a semicolon at or colon at the end. Okay, so within when, once I get here, what do I want to do? I want to find this 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 paragraph tag, which will provide me some useful information here. So maybe I want to go tweets. Dot find find me the p tag, and then let's, let's spit out the text. Let's see what let's see what that looks like. Okay, so it did not like that. Let's just see why it did not like that content. Let's see if it's because of the text or because of the the find. Oh, you know what it is? It's because I'm not printing. now this will make it a lot more sense i was wondering why it was taking so long okay so you can see here 
each uh each of the tweets so maybe for example we'll do um we'll create this here we'll, we'll go print i Uh, we'll go print i and then we'll just loop i so you can see so we can see here what each of the tweets are so you can see here it's pulling the, the 20 tweets i'll be interviewed by etc etc uh you can see here you can take a look at all the hyperlinks how many times does he include links right so you can do a lot of really interesting information uh here you for example could look at okay so does he include a a link here does he include a picture does he include a number of different things is he who else is he tagging from this information you can pile the database you can do a lot of uh, really interesting interesting stuff uh, that we'll be going over in the next uh, couple of videos uh, next video we'll probably go over how to um, how to web scrape tables so we probably won't go back to this example but we will go back to this example uh, when I show you how to download pictures so you can take a look at all the different pictures that uh, Donald Trump posts and maybe there's a certain pattern maybe you can get some certain logic uh, you can go ahead and check it out further but if there's any other questions comments feel free to leave it in the comment section below uh, if you thought this video was helpful give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to speaking to you next time thank you